If you're an electronic engineer, you will notice that some of the electronic wastes are made up of ICs. These little components go through a lot. They do processing, switching, application, just name it. So by understanding how they work, we can apply them to our daily projects. Hey there guys, I am Ben Sarlis, and in this video, you are going to learn how to use NEIC for electronic projects. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified if there's an upcoming video. So let's get started. Welcome to Clean Science! And so guys, in this video, we're going to use a CD4093IC uh, just to give you an idea on how it works so that you can apply this same idea on any IC that you want to use. So step one is by identifying the legs of the IC. So where you see a cot on an IC, you're going to start counting from the left side. It says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we continue to the other side, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that is how you count the legs of the IC. So guys, the next step is to download the pinout diagram of the IC, or you can just download a full data sheet of the IC on your web browser. This data will give you a more understanding on how each pin functions. So here is a pinout diagram of the CD4093IC with four NAND gates. So we have number 1, 2, 5, 6, 8, 9, 12 and 13 as the inputs. And then we have number 3, 4, 10 and 11 as the outputs. And then we have number 14 as the positive input and 7 as the negative input. Okay guys, let's see how the NAND gate works. So how the NAND gate works is, if we have our input as 0, then the output will be 1, else the output will be 0. And so guys, if we have a 0 at the two inputs, which are A and B, we have 1 at the output, which is X. And if we have a negative voltage at the input, we're going to have a positive voltage at the output. And so guys, that is how the NAND gate works. So if you want to get more understanding on how it works, then you can go ahead and download the datasheet of the IC. And so guys, here's a really simple circuit that you can build with the CD4093. This is a really simple circuit, a micro flasher. So guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that and leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video. And stay creative and stay safe. Goodbye. Oh, I'm so